Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hello, Beezers. Did you know you can now request a personalized video from me on Cameo that you can keep forever and ever? Cameos make great birthday and special occasion gifts. Check the link in the description and get your Cameo today. Can't wait to hear from you. Hello. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I'm in my kitchen and we're finally going to be cooking something here and here. So not cooking something for you, maybe yeah. That's my cat. She knows I'm making chicken somehow and she's freaking. <sighs> One moment, please. So I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm a little stuffy, uh, getting over a cold or something. I have a chef hat, yes I do. And uh, I'm gonna make dinner for myself and my husband today. And I'm going to be making a chicken roast or a roasted chicken. Uh, so despite the chef hat and this apron, which is one size fits all, except for me, it doesn't really fit me. But whatever. Uh, so yeah, I, um, I'm just going to be cooking your average meals with things I have in my pantry and my fridge. But I thought, you know what? Cooking is kind of boring, so I'll bring you guys along and we're going to make a chicken, a roasted chicken, some air fryer potatoes, and some broccoli and cheese. Uh, maybe a salad, we'll see. I'm not too sure. My husband hates broccoli. But with cheese, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get started. So. Yeah, this is my my oven, my stove. It's kind of older, but it does the job always. So the very first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to... Salt and pepper in the way. This is the size of my chicken. It's small. So... Let's do... Um, you know what? I want the chicken to release as much juice as possible, so I'm gonna cook it kind of low and slow. So we're gonna do a uh, bake. 350? Yeah. 350. Okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. I use this pan for almost everything. I have like maybe two or three pans but whatever okay so we're just gonna run that around let me just i wash my chicken i don't want to hear it okay i don't like the slimy on the chicken hi very small bird not gmo i guess so i'm gonna put it in the pan mix it around with olive oil I know this looks gross, but I'm going to wash my hands. Alright. And honestly, I'm going to be making a gravy with the drippings. So I'm not going to add any spice really to it. Um, just a bit of salt, pepper, and maybe a bit of paprika. My paprika is almost finished, so I have to renew it. <laughs> and I'm going to take some of the olive oil and just kind of rub it on the bird. Okay. And then, and then I'm gonna take some butter and just place it on the uh, the bird. I 
and maybe a little inside. You can melt the butter first, you can poke holes in the bird. Up to you, I'm doing it this way. So once the oven's preheated, I'm gonna stick it in the oven and then I'm gonna baste it every so often, maybe every 20 minutes. We'll see. Um, I'll let you know exactly how long I let it cook for. I'll probably raise the heat on it near the end of cooking so that the skin if it's not brown, it will get browned. Um, but, yeah, chicken. To maximize the juice, I'm going to cover it. chicken so it probably won't give up very much juice for a gravy so let's see if this works all right I'll be back in a bit see you all right so that bird as tiny as it is is throwing off a mighty smell does that sound like a cooking channel <laughs> okay I'm like really hungry I haven't eaten yet today, so I want to have a freaking big salad while I'm waiting. So, let's make one. Whoa, this thing is on wheels. All right, so I have some lettuce here, some washed veggies. The veggies in my, the veggies in my, uh, put this aside for Howie, my hamster. The veggies in my fridge, I have lots, so they want to, uh, come out and play. Alright, so I'm just going to chop about a head of romaine here. Put that in a huge bowl. I love the smell of roasting uh, chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have a cuke. Just rough chop that. Yummy. so congested and I don't know how long that's going to be for and you know I, I don't have much energy but life goes on and you know I, I have all this food I did a huge grocery order and I felt okay you know I thought I'm okay I can go out but um, the next day I felt poorly like it took a turn for the worse so um, I don't know what happened there but uh, since then I've been inside trying to recover and just eating little things not much of an appetite honestly for except for like soup and been eating soup and sandwiches. So. And uh, ordering here and there, you know. So we have a salad. Have some cheddar cheese. Like that. 
Okay. So, I'm gonna eat some of this. I'm gonna put some in a smaller bowl, save some for Salah. And I have my favorite. French dressing is my favorite. I love it. I've loved it since I'm a kid. Uh, so, yeah, just one sec. It's kind of thick dressing. What's your guys' favorite salad dressing? This one, and there used to be one. I think they still make it. But creamy cucumber. All right. I can finally taste again, though, at least. Mmm. Good dressing. Mmm. I'll be back soon to do the potatoes. All right, that was delicious. Let's do the potatoes. So we might only need one potato. <laughs> Cut off the bad parts here. Now, so I have a liner here in my air fryer. Okay. And, uh, yeah. now I'm going to leave skin on because I like the skin. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have like two knives. One is like a bread knife, so. <laughs> but we're going to make them big enough chunks. Okay. You know. looks like it will do it, so. What I'm going to season them with is some Evu, of course. A little lot, I know. Salt. Pepper. And This is not open yet. Hold on. I have to top, <laughs> top it up in my whew, some garlic powder. Okay. And I love onion powder. It's all over my apron. Better than my shirt. That's why I got this. Onion powder, okay. And I'm gonna try a little bit of steak sauce. I just improvise, like whatever, I see something, you know. And then I'm just gonna mix them. All right. So that's what they look like. So I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer for, until they're tender with a fork, wash my hands. And I'll see you back for the broccoli. Let's check the chicken. Oh, magnificent. You see them brown bits in the pan? You see them brown bits in the pan? That's going to be a gravy. So I'm gonna collect this juice now.
back in the oven to brown up. Uncovered. And then hopefully everything will be ready by the time my husband gets home. He'll be hungry. He's out doing some work. So, I'm also going to raise that to 400. And we're good to go. Last thing is the broccoli, which I'm also going to be cooking in the air fryer. So when the potatoes are done, I'm going to put them in the oven to keep warm. Cook the broccoli. So I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. So here's the potatoes. A little overdone on some of them, but mostly they look perfect. So I'm going to wrap them, put them away for now. I'm going to take some broccoli here, frozen. New liner. Hates broccoli, so okay. and some cheese. cook that in the air fryer. We're going to make a gravy now. I'm also going to add a little bit of butter. Now this is my first time making gravy in this way, so you'll have to bear with me. <laughs> there's all kinds of bits here that are very good for flavor. Oops. And I want to deglaze it. Up then on medium heat here. Our chicken is resting nicely. Once that gets up to temp, I'm going to add some flour. And make a roux. package gravy where I am, believe it or not. So, just the two tablespoons of flour. Now let's see if this works out. Looking not 
bad. Nice and thick. Okay. Gonna add a bit of black pepper. My favorite. Actually smells really nice. Let that simmer for a minute. Now that's your basic gravy recipe for anything. Um, drippings, broth, flour, adding drippings and flour is classic, you know, so. Yes. But make the roux with the flour before. You don't add the flour after because you'll have a lumpy gravy. I'm gonna taste it. bits of chicken too. All right, that's perfect. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, once the broccoli's ready, I'm gonna serve up dinner and I'll show you the end result. All right, so I'm gonna add some of my gravy. chicken. I made a potato poutine. I added some cheese. There's the chicken breast. <laughs> so, if you want to watch me eat this and chit chat for a bit and have dinner with me, come watch my mukbang. Coming soon. Thank you guys for watching this video. I have a lot more to cook. Please bear with me. Um, this is what I have for plates right now. We have to do some kitchen shopping because I'm not used to cooking. I used to order out like twice a day. That was my life, but I'm trying to cook for us. So yeah, yeah. That's how the broccoli turned out with cheese on it. All right, Yella, let's go eat.